just one more issue before we move on, and it's still on this question of uh, striking the right balance uh, and ultimately following at this discussion that you've described, the Prime Minister having to make what in many cases were very difficult decisions. Um, are you able to help us a little bit more with the, the, the dynamics of all of this between the Prime Minister and the Chancellor? We've heard uh, this afternoon, in fact, um, that later in the year, so in the autumn, where these discussions, and we'll come on to talk about this ourselves, came back with a vengeance, um, there was a perception that the Prime Minister would, would make a decision, uh, shall we say, favouring the health side of the argument, only for that decision then to be, and the word used was, undone by the Chancellor, who would um, have another go at him and persuade him to change his mind. Is that something that you recognise? What I recognised from that was that the Prime Minister was dealing with a series of... No, there were no easy decisions here. Um, everything was a balance, and it was a very difficult balance to strike. And I think that the various meetings, there were different lobbies that were at play, the health lobby, the, some of the minister, other ministers were pro-lockdown, others were wanting to open up. That was taking place all the time. So he was trying to steer a path through the middle of this, um, to the best of his ability, and listening to the advice being given to him on both the economy and from the health professionals. Were there occasions where he, it, it appeared that he'd made one decision and then one group or the other had a further meeting with him or discussion with him and he then changed his mind? Well, any decision that was he did change his mind on wouldn't have been a, a, a decision that had been finalised by Cabinet or any other group. It would have been in discussions with his various advisers around the table. And I think that was more him weighing up the different options that were in front of him. Um, 